hey guys, this is gonna be my first fishing video, catch and cook video, all of that. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments, please let me know. Want to keep doing this for fun, but um, getting suggestions and feedback would be nice to make a little bit better videos. Cause if no one watches this, that's fine. But if people do want to watch it and want to make it a little bit better, just let me know. Um, there's, it's not just going to be catching small fish like croaker and just uh, high low rigging and using crab traps like used in the uh, or drop nets like used in the videos. We're going to be doing some kayak fishing, some jetty fishing, beach fishing, surf fishing, freshwater. We'll do some bass, spinner baits. Um, coming up here real soon in a few days going to be going up to North Carolina and fishing for some trout and smallmouth so there's going to be a lot more stuff to come but I want to make it better and I want to make it good so yep thanks you got one he's hooked up I haven't even got the crab pot back in the water yet I just cast and he's hooked up on something what is it pull it up slow Be gentle with it. Oh, you got a nice crooker. Keep him. Yeah. Hell yeah. Look, bring him here. That's a that's a nice size. Holy shit. That's a good size crooker. Nice. Right, nice. Oh shit, he just started pulling a little hard. Might be another whiting. Nah, I think it might be a pinfish. I think it's a oof. I don't know. Another oh another whiting or a croaker. Nice. Really? Yeah, it's croaker. Nice. Just big enough to eat. Let's get him off. That that rod's really light though. In the bucket. Fish on. It's a red drum head, by the way. You bring it with you. Watch out, you're going a little far to the left. There's one. Nice. Oh! Hey, yeah, be nice with it. Oh, another, uh, another nice croaker. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, I got your one. Good hook placement, too. Grab him. Was that on the shrimp? Yeah. I caught the smallest two crabs of all time. Come on, buddy, you're not a keeper. Yeah. Big head in there, maybe something come get it. Not going for it at all. This is a really bad trap. And the line floats, I'm not trying to have a boat hit it. Oh, there you go. 
flounder. We're gonna see if it's big enough. It's gotta be 15. I bring him up here. Oh no. He's gonna be short. No, he's uh. 15? No, it starts at two. Yeah. A nice little 13 inch flounder. Can't keep it. Alright. Oh, there he goes. I have a fish on here. I don't know. Probably not. But at the same time, I just fought another tug. Yeah, there's something on there. Watch there be nothing on there. Oh, no. Caught another croak. I'm fine with that. I'd rather catch this than pinfish. Another keeper crab, barely keeper. All right, um, this is what we got. Just uh, that little $3 pot. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna get a better pot for sure, or a drop net for sure. But um, that was just a little thing to pick up at Walmart. While we are fishing, we thought if we don't catch anything, we'll at least catch some crabs. But uh, yeah, we got six of these. And um, you can cook them whole, but I'm going to clean them first, just for safety reasons. Um, I'll get into that further whenever I deshell these, and I'll show you one. But uh, yeah, we just got six of these, and then after this, got to prep the uh, croakers, and then we'll be good. But just start off by cleaning them. What I did was put them in a ice bath to render them dormant and then we're just going to clean them up here but uh, rinse them off real good make sure there's no dirt on them and then I'll show you how to break these shells off and clean out the butter and the, the gills and all that and why you should do that alright um, now we're going to clean them up this is uh, I put them in ice water so they're dormant but um this is a male you can tell by the shape of the aprons this is a female the rounded ed or the rounded apron and then the male with the pointed apron pretty obvious to tell and as you can tell the male's claws pretty blue usually the bigger ones and here, this is why you need to clean your crabs before you cook. Well, you don't need to, but it'd probably be a good idea in the long run because, one, you don't need the shell. But if you see right here, this, these are the crab's gills, and these are called dead man's fingers for a reason. They 
I'm not sure what kind of toxin they have. It may be the same as the butter, but I'm not sure, so I'm not going to give you false information. I know people who do eat these, and they say they haven't gotten sick, but I would refrain, because I'm pretty sure they taste bad anyway. But then, inside here, this is called the crab butter, and that you really don't want to eat, especially you guys on the Pacific Coast, because this is more of a problem there, but there's a, a type of algae called Pseudonychia, and some species of which produce demoic acid, which is a neurotoxin. So if you get a buildup of demoic acid in you, you could very well die. A few people have died, I think back in the 80s, and many marine mammals such as seals have died in the west coast along the Pacific. So yeah, I would refrain from, definitely refrain from eating the dead man's fingers and the butter. Even though some people do it for your health, I mean, if you get... This goes with shellfish as well, any filter feeder, but um, yeah, it can cause reproductive harm, permanent short-term memory loss, and um, death eventually. So refrain from eating these. The meat's good, just don't eat the butter right here. Clean all that out and just pick these dead man's fingers off and you're good. Okay, now that you're... Uh crabs are all cleaned, cleaned out all the butter, still got a lot of meat in there, meat and claws, all that fun stuff. Uh, then we come to the pot, fill up with water just enough to uh, cover all the crabs. And now is where we add the main ingredient, what you want the most of in there is salt. Because uh, haven't ever cooked it on uh, just fresh water, but it's because I've heard that if you use salt water, it's way better, so... A lot of salt. A whole lot of salt. Don't go light on the salt. It's best to go heavier. And you can... And you can mix it up, maybe even throw in a little bit more. And then, I'll be throwing in some garlic. Some minced onion. A little bit of black pepper, maybe. And some Old Bay. A lot of Old Bay. And for these, you can just eyeball it. It works about the same. Old Bay. Go pretty hard on it like you did the salt. Not as much, though. And then... Yep. Get that on the... Once you do that, mix it up. Put it on the oven. Get it to a boil. And once it's boiling, throw your crabs in there, and in about 10 minutes they'll be done. So, we'll get to that part. Alright, uh, now we're going to just cook up one of the croaker, the biggest croaker. I think this one's the biggest one. Maybe, but yeah, big one. Anyways, we're going to cook this one up too. Just one though, I'm going to save the other ones for another time. And we're going to just cut his head off right here, scale him, cut his head off right here, gut him, and uh, we're going to pan fry him whole with some cornmeal mix, some salt, some black pepper, and some flour. Okay, got our fish right here, cleaned, gutted, and now we're going to take it over, put it in here, we're going to add just a little bit of cornmeal. And a uh, little bit of flour. And then we're going to finish it off with some black pepper. And just a little bit of salt. And mm, you can throw some Old Bay on there if you want to. I don't think I will. But you can if you want. So, yep, going to get that done. And can add a little bit of milk as well. Let the, let the fish sit in some milk. So, alright, be right back. Alright, now our croaker is breaded. Gonna add a little bit of pepper. Both sides.
This is something you could honestly do when it's already in the pan. But hold on. salt it up a little bit. Put it in that salt. There we go. Okay, now we can just throw it in the pan. There we go, and let that baby cook. Then once we get this boil right here, we uh, dump the crabs in. It's about ready now. Ten minutes with the crabs in, and you're good. And there you have it. Yep. There it is. Crooker crab.